Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Tea and Tolkien Thursdays, where we delve into the rich tapestry of J.R.R. Tolkien's epic fantasy world. Today, we bring you an enthralling account of one of the most pivotal battles in Middle Earth's history, the Battle of the Palena Fields. Join us as we explore the heroic deeds, unforgettable characters, and the triumphant moment when Eowyn, the shield maiden of Rohan, struck down the Witch King of Angmar. I'm your host, Snarky Susie, and let's embark on this extraordinary journey together. The Battle of the Palena Fields, also known as the Battle of Minas Tirith, took place during the final stages of the War of the Ring, a climactic conflict between the forces of good, led by the free peoples of Middle-earth, and the malevolent forces of Sauron, the Dark Lord. It occurred on March 15th in the Third Age of Middle-earth, a date that would forever be etched into the annals of history. At the heart of this grand battle, we find the ancient city of Minas Tirith, the capital of Gondor, standing tall against the encroaching darkness. The White City, built upon the slopes of Mount Mindoluin, was a beacon of hope in a world slowly succumbing to the will of Sauron. As the battle drew near, the valiant defenders of Gonda prepared themselves for the onslaught. Amidst the chaos and despair, several key characters emerged as beacons of courage and resilience. One such character was Gandalf the White, the wise and powerful wizard who guided the free peoples in their darkest hour. His leadership and unwavering resolve inspired hope and rallied the forces of good. Standing beside Gandalf was the noble steward of Gondor, Denethor II, a tragic figure consumed by despair and the weight of his responsibilities. His sons, Boromir and Faramir, played significant roles as well. Boromir, driven by his desire to protect Gondor, had fallen earlier in the Fellowship's journey. Faramir, on the other hand, bravely led the defenders of Gondor, even when faced with overwhelming odds. As the battle raged, a pivotal moment arrived, a moment that would shape the fate of Middle-earth. The Witch King of Angmar, the chief of the Ringwreaths and Sauron's most feared servant, rode forth on his fell beast. With his sword raised high, he sought to strike down the defenders and claim victory for the Dark Lord. But destiny had other plans. Enter Eowyn, a shield maiden of Rohan, who disguised herself as a male warrior under the alias of Dernhelm. Eowyn, driven by her desire to protect her people and fueled by her defiance of societal expectations, faced off against the Witch King. With her unwavering courage and her mighty sword, she stood as the embodiment of hope. The Witch King, confident in his invincibility due to a prophecy, sneered at Eowyn, proclaiming, no man can kill me. But Eowyn, undeterred, uttered her legendary words, I am no man. In a breathtaking climax, she struck the Witch King down, shattering his illusion of invincibility and fulfilling the prophecy that foretold his downfall. Eowyn's defeat of the Witch King was a moment of profound significance. Not only did it demonstrate the power of individual bravery in the face of overwhelming darkness, but it also shattered the notion that only male heroes could change the course of history. Eowyn's triumph serves as a testament to the strength and resilience of women, breaking barriers and inspiring future generations of heroines. Meanwhile, on another front of the battle, another legendary figure fought valiantly against the forces of evil. Aragorn, the rightful heir to the throne of Gondor, led the army of the dead, a spectral host bound to his command through a long-forgotten oath. With their aid, Aragorn and his companions managed to turn the tide of the battle, delivering a crushing blow to Sauron's forces. The Battle of the Palena Fields was not only a clash of swords and shields but also a conflict of hope against despair. It symbolized the resilience of the free peoples of Middle-earth in the face of overwhelming odds and the indomitable spirit that can arise even in the darkest of times. 
As the sun set on the Palena fields, the forces of Sauron were defeated, and the Dark Lord's dominion began to crumble. The victory at the Palena fields served as a turning point in the War of the Ring, marking the beginning of the end for Sauron's reign of terror. The Battle of the Palena fields stands as a testament to the power of unity, sacrifice, and the unwavering belief in the cause of good. It reminds us that even in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges, heroes can rise, and legends can be forged. Now, I turn this podcast over to my friends Tierra Maguire and Kerry Chan, who will talk about the characters who played a role in the Battle of the Palena Fields. Hello, everyone. I'm Tierra Maguire and this is Kerry Chong. Today we embark on a journey to the Battle of the Palenar Fields, a defining moment in the War of the Ring. Join us as we explore the characters who played crucial roles in this historic clash. Our tale begins amidst the darkness and despair that shrouded Middle-earth, as the forces of evil amassed for a final assault on the realm of Gondor. At the heart of this epic battle were characters who exemplified bravery, sacrifice, and the unwavering spirit of the free peoples. Let us shine a light on their stories. First, we encounter the valiant warriors of Gundor, led by their stalwart Captain General, Gundor's last hope, Faramir. Despite being gravely wounded, Faramir displayed unwavering resolve, rallying his men and leading them with unwavering determination. His resilience and strategic acumen became a beacon of hope in the face of overwhelming darkness. Meanwhile, on the front lines, we find the riders of Rohan, who thundered onto the battlefield with their mighty horses, led by the courageous King Theoden. This seasoned leader, once burdened by doubt, found his purpose in Valar, driving his warriors forward and inspiring them with his rallying cries. Theoden's charge became a defining moment of the battle, breaking the enemy lines and turning the tide. Amidst the chaos and destruction, another character emerged, the mysterious and enigmatic wizard, Gandalf the White. His wisdom and power were instrumental in guiding the forces of good and thwarting the schemes of the Dark Lord. Gandalf's calm demeanor and unwavering resolve served as a beacon of hope, reminding all that the light would prevail. Not all heroes wielded swords or commanded armies, for there were others who played crucial roles behind the scenes. Take, for instance, the resourceful and resilient shield maiden of Rohan, Eowyn. Disguised as a man, she defied societal expectations and snuck into battle, confronting the witch king of Angmar, leader of the fearsome Nazgul. Eowyn's courage and determination prevailed delivering the pivotal blow that ended the Witch King's reign of terror. And who could forget the loyal and steadfast hobbits, Merry and Pippin, who had embarked on an unexpected journey from the Shire to Middle-earth's most treacherous lands. These small yet resilient heroes found themselves in the thick of battle, providing crucial aid and proving that even the unlikeliest of individuals could shape the course of history. While our focus often gravitates toward the forces of good, we must acknowledge that the darkness also birthed captivating characters. Among them was the tortured and conflicted Gollum, whose possession of the One Ring would have dire consequences for all. Gollum's internal struggle between his desire for the Ring and a glimmer of redemption played a pivotal role in the battle's outcome, leading to an unexpected resolution. The Battle of the Palenar Fields marked a turning point in the War of the Ring. It showcased the triumph of courage over despair, the power of unity in the face of adversity, and the strength of individuals whose choices and actions shaped the fate of Middle-earth. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating exploration of the characters involved in the Battle of the Palenar Fields. We hope that through their stories, you have gained a deeper appreciation for the complex and diverse individuals who fought against the forces of darkness. Their bravery, sacrifice, and unwavering determination serve as a reminder that even in the darkest of times, hope can prevail. Now Carrie and I will step aside while snarky Susie talks about the significance of March 15th, which was when the Battle of the Palenar Fields took place. 
Hello, everyone. I'm Snarky Susie, and now we delve into the rich tapestry of Middle Earth as we explore the significance of March 15th in its storied history. A date forever etched in the annals of time, for it was on this day that the Battle of the Palena Fields unfolded. So, grab your elven cloak, prepare your hobbit pipe, and join us as we embark on this fascinating journey. To truly comprehend the magnitude of the Battle of the Palena Fields, we must first understand its context. The War of the Ring, the climactic struggle against the dark forces of Sauron, had reached a critical juncture. Gonda, the realm of men, stood as the last bastion of resistance against the relentless onslaught of Morda's legions. March 15 marked a crucial turning point in this conflict. The armies of Sauron, led by the Witch King of Angmar, marched upon the Palena Fields, a vast plain before the ancient city of Minas Tirith. The fate of Middle-earth hung in the balance as the defenders of Gonda prepared for the ultimate test of valor and sacrifice. The battle itself was a clash of epic proportions. The forces of Gonda, aided by their allies from Rohan, mustered all their strength to face the seemingly insurmountable odds. Brave soldiers, valiant knights, and noble leaders fought side by side against the monstrous creatures of Morda. However, it is essential to recognize that the Battle of the Palena Fields was not merely a physical confrontation. It embodied the timeless struggle between light and darkness, hope and despair. The courage displayed by the defenders of Gonda, despite overwhelming adversity, symbolized the indomitable spirit of the free peoples of Middle-earth. March 15, forever etched in the collective memory of Middle-earth, witnessed not only acts of heroism on the battlefield but also pivotal moments that would shape the course of history. One such instance was the arrival of the mysterious Grey Company, led by the heir of Isildur, Aragorn. With their arrival, a glimmer of hope was rekindled in the hearts of the weary defenders. Meanwhile, the young hobbit, Pegrin Tuk, found himself in the company of the valiant Gandalf, the White Wizard. In the midst of the chaos, Pippin's unwavering loyalty and resourcefulness would prove crucial in rallying the disparate forces of Gonda and Rohan. The Battle of the Palena Fields was not solely a conflict between the forces of good and evil. It was a multifaceted struggle, intertwining the lives of diverse characters from different races and backgrounds. The narrative arc of Eowyn, the Shield Maiden of Rohan, exemplifies this complexity. Disguised as Dernhelm, Eowyn defied societal expectations and traditions, embodying the spirit of feminism and breaking free from the limitations placed upon her as a woman. It was on March 15 that she confronted the Witch King in single combat, delivering a decisive blow that shattered his dark aura, and ultimately led to his demise. The Battle of the Palena Fields showcased the themes of sacrifice and redemption. In the darkest hour, when all hope seemed lost, it was Frodo Baggins, the unassuming hobbit, and his loyal companion Samwise Gamgee, who embarked on a perilous journey to Mount Doom to destroy the One Ring. Their selflessness and determination to fulfill their mission became a beacon of inspiration for all. As the sun set on March 15, the Battle of the Palena Fields drew to a close. Gonda had prevailed, but at a tremendous cost. The fields lay stained with the blood of fallen warriors, heroes who had given their lives in defense of all that was good and pure. March 15 became an enduring symbol of bravery, resilience, and the triumph of light over darkness. It serves as a reminder that even in the face of overwhelming odds, the power of hope and unity can prevail. The Battle of the Palena Fields stands as a testament to the indomitable spirit of the free peoples of Middle-earth and their ability to rise above adversity. And now, I shall leave you with Humphrey Goldstein to talk about why Eowyn's part in this story is so important. Hello, everyone. I'm Humphrey Goldstein and today, we'll be discussing the courageous shield maiden, Eowyn 
and her remarkable role in the Battle of the Palenar Fields. To understand Eowyn's role in the Battle of the Palenar Fields, we must first explore her character and her journey leading up to this pivotal moment. Eowyn, niece of King Theoden of Rohan, longed for glory and adventure beyond the traditional role assigned to women. Let's dive into her background. Eowyn grew up in the land of Rohan, a kingdom known for its mighty horsemen. Yet, she was often confined within the societal expectations of her gender. However, Eowyn possessed a fiery spirit, a yearning to prove her worth on the battlefield, and a desire to protect her people. This desire ultimately led her to assume a significant role in the Battle of the Palenar Fields. The Battle of the Palenar Fields was a climactic conflict in the War of the Ring. It took place near the city of Minas Tirith, where the forces of Sauron besieged the realm of Gondor. Eowyn found herself at the heart of this struggle, driven by her determination to protect her loved ones and free her homeland from the grip of darkness. Eowyn's role in the battle began with her disguising herself as a man, taking on the identity of Durnhelm. This allowed her to join the army of Rohan and ride into battle alongside her uncle, King Theoden. Eowyn's decision to conceal her identity symbolizes her willingness to break free from the constraints placed upon her and fight for what she believes in. However, Eowyn's significance in the Battle of the Palenar Fields extends far beyond her mere participation. As the battle reached its climax, a pivotal moment arrived when the Witch King of Angmar, Sauron's most fearsome and indomitable servant, sought to crush all hope by confronting King Theoden. Eowyn, with her unwavering bravery, stepped forward to face the seemingly invincible foe. In a stunning turn of events, Eowyn, aided by the Hobbit Mary, struck a fatal blow to the Witch King, ending his reign of terror. This moment not only showcased Eowyn's exceptional skill and determination but also fulfilled the ancient prophecy that no man could kill the Witch King. Eowyn's gender, often perceived as a limitation, became the key to her victory and solidified her place in the annals of Middle-earth's legends. Beyond her extraordinary feat, Eowyn's role in the Battle of the Palenar Fields had significant emotional resonance. Her fight against the Witch King represented the triumph of hope over despair, the victory of the light against the encroaching darkness. Eowyn's bravery inspired her allies and struck fear into the hearts of her enemies, ultimately playing a crucial role in the overall outcome of the battle. Moreover, Eowyn's actions were not solely driven by personal ambition or glory-seeking. She fought for the love of her people, her family, and her home. In a world torn apart by war, her steadfast dedication and selflessness symbolized the indomitable spirit that drives individuals to sacrifice everything for a just cause. Eowyn's heroic deeds and unwavering courage also challenged societal norms and shattered gender stereotypes within the realm of Middle-earth. By defying the expectations placed upon her, she inspired countless others to question and overcome the limitations society imposed upon them, encouraging the pursuit of dreams and aspirations, regardless of gender. In the aftermath of the Battle of the Palenar Fields, Eowyn's actions did not go unnoticed. She was celebrated as a hero and earned the respect and admiration of her fellow warriors. Her role in the battle became legendary, a tale passed down through generations, reminding future generations of the incredible strength and determination that can be found within every individual. And there you have it, the extraordinary role of Eowyn in the Battle of the Palenar Fields. Her unwavering bravery, her defiance of societal expectations, and her triumph over the Witch King of Angmar all combined to make her one of the most significant and inspiring characters in Tolkien's world. Thank you for listening, and I now send this podcast back to you, Susie. And so, everyone, we come to the end of our journey through the Battle of the Palenar Fields. We hope you have enjoyed this immersive exploration of this monumental clash and the remarkable characters who played their parts. Join us again on Tea and Tolkien Thursdays as we uncover more tales from the vast and enchanting realm created by J.R.R. Tolkien. Also, don't forget to subscribe and leave us a review. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Until next time, farewell, and remember, the legends of Middle-earth shall never fade.
மேய 